Since a long time we know that something needs to be changed, life around us is changing uh, rapidly uh, every day and uh, we feel quite uh, isolated and unable to respond to the changes. Okay, we can adapt to, to the changes, but whether we can really provoke spaces, even the symbolic spaces for a change, it's not as easy as it sounds. When we, when we talk about individual changes, at the same time we, need, we know that these changes that um, has to, to become systemic changes. So I think this is for me another, that's a big issue and reflection that how, how to bring this discussion from this, uh, this uh, it's very nice and we talk and we think and we agree, but we are, we are still in a certain bubble. How to bring that on another level? I think this is this is for me the challenge. Of how to how we repoliticize re the scene? Mm -hmm. I think this is also uh, an issue. No, there has been a lot of talk now in this conference about meta events and you know us cultural mm -hmm. operators producing more and more uh, events uh, and uh, content that isn't artistic but is meta artistic. You know addressing the artistic. I agree with this, but I find I don't find it necessarily negative. I think that, you know, if we are serious uh, with goals like, you know, enhancing, you know, um, inclusion and participation and, you know, in reinforcing uh, democratic practices, this takes a lot of time and this, this takes a lot of discussion. And I see the political dimension of this exactly in doing and implementing these processes on the everyday level, on the personal level as well as on the professional level. And that's why that's the political dimension of the conference that I see, you know, uh, democratic horizontal debate, uh, you know, uh, saying to yourself, yes, I will provide, I will reserve myself five days just to address these issues together with everyone. This in itself, I think, is a is a political statement. Well, first of all, maybe we should say that Ready to Change, that we have borrowed the title from a book uh, of the two authors, uh, Hurska Jurman and Polonca Laushin, who edited and it was a series of interviews uh, followed by one exhibition, I think, and which also inspired us. So first Ready to Change conference happened in 2010 and it was a result of, uh, of several years project uh, Sustenuta amongst Mediterranean partners and it was mainly about uh, um, social innovation, economic in so innovation uh, in Mediterranean area, especially interconnecting a cultural field with other spheres, I would say, and um, so this was the, the biggest, let's say, collective uh, event where all the partners have been really putting their energy, but maybe especially the Liquid Europe and Bunker, maybe in particular. And uh, as the conference was uh, organized, I think very horizontally with. Uh, with uh, many partners involved, I think that in itself is a statement um, that says a lot, you know, in um, now, you know, in, you know, in the conditions where, you know, project management pushes you into efficiency, higher efficiency, you know, where there's a little time for a reflection. Uh, I think this uh, this example was a very uh, very refreshing appro approach uh, where you know we said deliberately you know yes we'll have time to discuss together yes we put value on reaching decisions consensually uh, even if we sacrifice you know efficiency in terms of you know time management etc. It was just a I think it was much more ambitious at the beginning. We also start, wanted to write a collective manifesto. In fact, we, what we wanted is, can we, all these different people from, I don't know, those who are planning the city, those who are, I don't know, working in schools or artists or, 
uh, from all around the world, not just Mediterranean, but we, uh, uh, can we take a common statement about how the world and culture and sphere should be organized, let's say, in the future, which was actually didn't work out at all, <laughs> but it was an honest try, and because we didn't write it in advance, it was an honest try and it provoked the discussions. What was particularly interesting for Bunker in the time was actually the, the, the fact that, uh, because before that we were maybe working a lot internationally, but probably less uh, with so various partners. Like every cultural organization, you probably link more with like a festival, with a festival theater to the theater, company to the company. But here it was really um, something coming from this kind of bubble, really, and, and try to, to link with other spheres. And admitting that uh, not only cultural sphere is not re absolutely ready, because all that start happened actually before the crisis. Uh, social, economic, environmental, etc. And political, of course. And uh, it was somehow anticipating. I would say that for me, uh, uh, Ready to Change was, uh, uh, was a platform that uh, enabled us to go beyond our immediate environment. This means that if usually we're working uh, in the artistic sector and dealing with topics that you know, are of interest mainly to actors from within this same sector, uh, Ready to Change for me was, uh, very, uh, uh, was a very welcoming uh, event in the sense that we were able to invite and to to talk and to discuss with people from outside, which I think is always good because it gives you, um, well, it broadens your perspective and it gives you a different view. And the conference enabled me to 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 put our own work into coordinates into coordinates of the broader society. So when you talk to when you talk to a biologist you get a certain perspective, another perspective of how your work is evaluated. When you talk to a sociologist you get another view. Now, I was reminded again that uh, the work we do uh, can have, can have, doesn't need to, but can have political implications and political consequences even if the work itself isn't regarded as political. But, you know, certain practices, certain approaches in themselves con constitute a, a radically different political stance. I think we're just adapting to the, to the outside situation and trying to de detect what are the, you know, what are the burning issues in our own cultural sector, as well as in the broader environment, in the society as a whole. And that's why we've had such diverse topics in, in the previous three uh, meetings. Last year it was more about, uh, it was more about relation between economy and environment. It was in the frame of Imagine 2020 network which is about arts and climate change, mm -hmm. but also partly it was connect, connected with the New Economic Foundation from England, which wrote a big manifesto of, uh, of, of a great transition, where, the, where redistribution of goods, redistribution of energy, redistribution of labor uh, would be possible. Like, let's say in kind of symbolic, uh, but also concrete solutions for the transformation that we all desire that much. Yeah? And this year it's more about, uh, about artists and communities. Maybe it's a little bit more focused than usually, but nevertheless it's also very connected uh, with the uh, actual political um, situation and life of, of all of us. In fact, it's very simple. That it, it, for us, it's like a movement or it's a way of working and to, to, to concentrate really high, highly intellectual debate on, on one hand and mixing it with the, with the, practi with the practice, and, but also to give the space to the artistic events at the same time. 
in a kind of uh, structure, but also a little bit loose way. So loosen up way so that it, it that, uh, enable uh, discussions uh, also and uh, and some space for thinking. It's for me. It's for me. It's like a kind of really mental retreat also, which inspires me in my everyday work. Of yes, making things even more horizontally, opening even more channels for two-way communication and flow of information. Um, and again, as I said before, you know, this is, I think this is a deliberate decision um, and every year we are reinforcing it more and more. So every year we have more and more people included, involved in the organization of the conference and I would say also more and more autonomy in the organization. I think that the most important thing that we can do at the conference is to provide the content to everybody that wasn't able to attend physically. So what we do is that we document everything uh, and we put everything online. So all the lectures and all the debates are uh, always available at www.bunker.si. And uh, yeah, this is the sort of the main, the main reason why we document the, the sessions, not for a reporting or for administrational reasons, but exactly in order to make the content available to, to outside interested uh, people.